I'm rebuilding Surge Black Box again. It's not because I don't like it. This is damn good looking. I'm going to miss it. It's not because I can change the colors. Because it's pretty glorious like that. There's two main reasons why I'm doing this. One. The main reason above all. People are so goddamn fit to Google. They can't seem to get off of that UI. Because they've been using it for so many years. They, they just can't seem to get on to something different for a search engine for once. So I'm going to make mine ex pretty close to theirs. Not exactly, but it's going to be similar so you guys can kind of understand how the layout works and stuff like that. I've already started working on it, but before I show you that, I'm going to explain the other reason. As you can see at the bottom here, it shows white, black, red, blue, and etc. Right? When you click on a page, it opens up another page. As you see, this is black search.html. This is pink search.html. This is individual pages. So say if I change a word on here with Notepad++, yes, this has all been done by hand, but Notepad++, and I change like the 2014, I have to change it on all pages. Now, these are the pages right here. As you can see in categories, this shows white. So this is how many pages there are for white. Same thing goes with red. So when I change one thing, I have to do it on all the pages underneath that category. So red world news, I would have to do that to white world news, the pink world news. It's a pain in the ass after a while. So I'm kiwashing the idea of using themes like this. I know it's really nice. I'm going to miss this layout. I'm still going to hold on to the, the search engine on my computer. So I'm not completely deleting it. I have it right here. As you can see, I can open it up. That's local, by the way. <clears throat> That's not on the server. So I still have the pages. I'm still going to hold on to them. But um, the new search engine, uh, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like here. I'm going to have to open up Notepad++ because I'm actually in the middle of working on it. Uh, before, this isn't going to make any sense to you guys, but I'm going to show you something. This is the home page of what uh, the white edition of Search Black Box looks like right now. As you can see, I'm scrolling down. This is all the code that there is for that one page. And this is what um, the new one looks like. Probably doesn't make any sense to you, but I'm going to run this in Chrome. This is what the new one looks like. And this is a browser problem. Some reason um, Google Chrome can't seem to run websites properly in local, so it's just gonna sit there and spin. Sometimes it'll act dumb. But the, this is what the new one looks like. There's pretty much nothing on here yet. All the IDs and classes are added to pretty much all the HTML. I did this for a reason, so that way you, if you want to create your own um, website style for this through user styles. You can fully customize it the way you want. So I threw in a bunch of IDs and classes for everybody to screw around with if they really wanted to, and they're tech savvy with style sheets. One day I'll explain how that shit works. So if I type in Canada, this is what the search engine looks like. It's pretty basic. I might change this yet, but it, it at least it scrolls you up. Here shows you the share over here is pretty much the same. So nothing's changed. This was on the left hand side and now it's on the right. Uh, this here will bring you right to the site. Right now, since it's local, it's just shooting me off to the main site, searchblackbox.net. Um, images, as an example, nothing has changed with this. It's just the way that it looks has changed. So this is pretty much it. Nothing new with that. Um, Google Maps is embedded into the site like this, so this is pretty much how it looks. Apparently it's stuck in Sydney at the moment. We'll see. I might change that yet. That's actually not a bad road, but you get the idea for this, right? So, um, it's got images, news, videos, maps, um, the, 
the movies, TV shows, world news, NASA, and all that stuff will be actually located in here. It will pop up its own page. I might still keep the search up. I don't know. I haven't got that far yet to decide. So this is what the new one's going to look like. Uh, it's pretty basic. I made it basic for a few reasons. I'm going to try to make this faster than Google. Um, the other one's already faster by a couple of seconds. I think a couple of seconds or milliseconds. I don't know. I gotta do a speed test with it again. So I'm, I'm trying to make a, a search engine faster than Google. So the problem is with this one, it doesn't have an API drop down menu. I can't seem to get one working. I've been trying for um, quite a few years now and I pretty much gave up with it. But I got the map uh, API to show up. So as you can see, this one shows up. It's an API menu, by the way. I can't seem to get the main search one to work. I don't know. Conflicting code problems, but... Oh, well, um, this is what it's going to look like. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty much working with all the coding right now. There's so much more i got to do. It's retarded. But, yeah. Uh, I hate to see um, the old one go, but it's going to have to eventually. Oh, talking about like gears and stuff in the gears here, as you can see, like color picker and stuff. What's gonna happen? What my idea is, is when you click on gears, you can go to like color picker. The color picker will show up here, and you can use it. You can also search when you hit do search. Um, the search will drop down, and the color picker will shift down. That's what I'm trying to hope for, but we'll see. I might have confl um, I might have JavaScript. Uh, Confliction or issues with um, other scripts, so I don't know. We'll see. Too early to explain everything I'm going to be doing, but I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, let me know if you guys think you would uh, use this. Um, right now, it looks pretty basic, but it does work. Um, there, I'll train a dragon too. That is actually Google's drop down that's part of the browser. The more you search, the more um, that drop down will show up. So, this is basically it for this. It's kind of nice though, because it's got a back to the top feature, so you don't have to scroll all the way up. Oh, weather. It does use your location, allow pinpointed me cool you know what if you guys don't know the temperature of that let's go to the old temperature here all right let's go to down here actually that wasn't the right spot duh let's calculate that to there you go 66.2 so yeah the temperature converter is going to be going over it's got a make this this version here. It's got a uh, megabyte file encryptor. It's got HTML builder. I explained all this stuff before, but yeah, these are some cool little tools that uh, you don't find in any other type of search engine. That's for sure. But, anyways, I'm just wasting time here now. It's like eight twenty four into this, but. Yeah, um, this is what I'm doing with the search engine. I'm going to be at it for quite some time, but I'll keep you guys updated. It's going to take me time. As you can see here, I'm building it all in Notepad. So, as you can see, though, that uh, here, let's go to the home. Kind of understand if you're if you're like style sheet tech savvy and you know what you're doing. You see, there's classes here, um, IDs. So you pretty much change anything that you want. So we can like go, I don't know, let's click this. Let's click this button. As you can see, even the button has some options. So we could type in um, border radius. This is a uh, CSS uh, 3 type ideal. I'll try to type in 0. Actually, I want pixels because I might change it up. What I just did there shows left, up, down, and right. Watch this. See? I could change that that way. And at the top left hand corner, it should change. As you can see. Now that button looks pretty sweet. Or, I don't have to do it like that. I could do an all in one shot. Oops. Damn.
There's an all in one shot. But anyways, you you get the idea. I don't have to show you anymore. Yeah, ten minutes. All right, I'm out. Please do rate, subscribe. Hopefully, you guys are gonna enjoy this. Let me know in the comments what you think. Peace.